Okay, we've got these three draws. Draw A, B, and C, and they contain uh, gold and silver medals. And then we, we toss in two coins. And then, depending on what comes out from tossing two coins, the decision on which draw I, I'm taking comes from that result of tossing two coins. Okay. Part A is right down the property of choosing A, B or C. So, property of A, B and C is condition of when I get two heads, two tails, or one head and one tail. So, to help me do this, when I toss the two coins, I draw a space diagram, a possibility space. So the one coin, my choice is head or a tail. My second coin is also a choice of a head or a tail. So there's four possible things that can happen. You can have two heads, you can have a head and a tail, tail and a head, tail, tail. So the probability of draw A is two heads, but well, that's only occurring once, and there are four possibilities. That's one of the four. The probability of draw B is two tails, and that's two tails only seen once out of four possibilities, that's one out of four. And the probability of draw C, one head and one tail, that's, I'm seeing that twice out of four, so that's two out of four, which cancels down to a half. So those, are, those are my probabilities of, of choosing A, B, draw A, B and C. Then part B, and we don't take the medal out, so what I want to know is the probability of a medal being gold. So what, what, what happens here is the sequence of two events. I have to pick a draw and then choose a medal. So my first choice, I've got three choices, first of all. Do I, am I choosing draw A, draw B, or draw C? That's my first choice so draw a probably that is one quarter draw b is a quarter draw c is a half and then when I go into draw a do I pick out a gold or not a gold draw b similar I want to know whether I draw a gold or not the gold, and draw C, same choice again, whether I choose a gold or not a gold. So in draw A, there's three gold medals. So I get my chance to have a gold then, if there's only three gold medals in there, and choosing a medal, it has to be gold. So that's certain to happen, so that's probability of one, so zero for not gold. Draw B, two golds, one silver. So there's three medals, two of them are gold. So the chances of a gold there is two out of three, two thirds. So not a gold would be one third. And draw C is one gold and two silver. So that's one out of three for a gold. So it's two out of three, not a gold. So that's my three diagrams going to help me. So part one, I want the probability of choosing a gold medal, so that can happen three ways uh, draw A and gold, or draw B and gold, or draw C and gold. So that's going to be a quarter times, times one, or so I add a quarter times two thirds, or a half times a third. And put that in the calculator. So it's 1 over 4 times 1. Whoops. Delete that. I need to get out the fraction times 1. Add 1 over 4 times 2 over 3. Add 1 over 2 times 1 over 3. 
the same all the time. So we're probably to the gold medal. And part two, given that this goal, so you have a conditional probability and given, so a line goes down, one and given goes after the line, and given is gold, and the probability I want to find goes to the left of the line, and I want to know if the probability came from draw A. So let's probably replace the line with an and, so it's A and the gold over probably the second one, which is gold. So the top line then, looking at A and gold, go to your tree diagram, where, where's that? There's A and the gold, so it's this root here, a quarter times one on top. Over the probability of gold, I found out, out in, in the first part of the question, a 7 over 12. I'll take down the calculator. So I've got the top line a quarter times one, quarter times one is a quarter, so it's one over four on the top line. Bottom line I got seven over twelve, seven over over twelve, and that gives me an answer of three sevenths.